Think you know everything about history? Well, get ready to be amazed, because we're diving deep into the strangest, most mind-boggling historical facts that will leave you wondering if you really knew anything about the past. From medieval beer pipelines to exploding warships, history is far crazier than you ever imagined. Hold on to your time machines, we're in for a wild ride. Welcome back, history buffs and time travelers, to another mind-bending journey through the annals of time. Today, we're about to uncover some of the weirdest and most astonishing historical facts that will make you question everything you thought you knew about the past. These are the untold stories, the bizarre events, and the quirky details that textbooks often overlook. So, hop on our historical roller coaster, fasten your seatbelts, and get ready to explore the stranger side of history. Certainly, let's delve deeper into these fascinating historical practices. 1. Roman Garum Production In ancient Rome, the condiment known as garum was all the rage. This pungent sauce was made by fermenting fish guts, often mackerel, in the sun for several months. Romans believed it to be a delicacy and used it generously in their dishes. The process involved layering salt with the fish remains in large vats, which would then sit under the sun, allowing natural fermentation to take place. The resulting liquid was strained and decanted into bottles for consumption. It might not sound appetizing today, but it was a culinary sensation in its time. 2. Ancient Egyptian Beard Etiquette In ancient Egypt, the length and style of one's beard were a matter of social importance. Pharaohs often wore fake metallic beards as a symbol of divinity. For commoners, beards were a sign of masculinity and respect. However, clean-shaven faces were preferred among the upper classes, as facial hair could be grabbed during combat. This led to the creation of fake, ornamental beards made of metal or other materials. 3. Mayan Bloodletting Rituals The Mayans believed in bloodletting as a way to communicate with the gods and access spiritual realms. Nobles engaged in this ritual by piercing their tongues, ears, or genitals with stingray spines or obsidian blades. The blood was then collected on paper or bark and offered to deities through fire. Bloodletting was often performed during important ceremonies and was seen as a way to gain favor with the gods. 4. Medieval Alchemy Medieval alchemists pursued the elusive philosopher's stone, a substance that could transmute base metals into gold and grant immortality. While they never achieved these goals, their experiments laid the foundation for modern chemistry. Alchemists were known for their intricate symbols, cryptic texts, and the quest for the elixir of life. 5. Victorian Mourning Customs In the Victorian era, mourning was an elaborate and somber affair. When a loved one passed away, family members would wear black clothing for an extended period, often for years. Jewelry made from the hair of the deceased, known as mourning jewelry, was also popular. Additionally, post-mortem photography was a common practice, where deceased loved ones were photographed as a way of preserving their memory. 6. The Chinese Imperial Examination In ancient China, scholars aspired to become government officials through the imperial examination system. This highly competitive and rigorous process tested candidates on their knowledge of Confucian classics. Success meant a prestigious position in the government bureaucracy, while failure could lead to a lifetime of disappointment. 7. Aztec Human Sacrifice The Aztecs practiced human sacrifice as an integral part of their religious beliefs. Priests would perform these rituals on a massive scale, often involving captives from battles. The goal was to appease the gods and ensure the continued survival of the Aztec civilization. 8. 19th Century Quack Medicine The 19th century saw a surge in quack medicine, with dubious remedies and treatments sold to the gullible public. These included remedies, like radioactive suppositories, electric corsets, and even radium-infused water. Quack doctors often made extravagant claims about the curative properties of their products, preying on people's health concerns. 9. Victorian Hidden Mothers in the early days of photography, long exposure times made it challenging to capture children's portraits. To keep infants still, mothers would hide under drapes and props while holding their babies. This practice, while strange to modern eyes, allowed for the creation of precious family photographs. 10. Ancient Chinese Foot Binding Foot binding was a painful practice in ancient China where young girls' feet were tightly bound to prevent growth, creating the idealized lotus foot it was a symbol of beauty and social status. The process 
involving broken bones and severe deformity, lasted for years and had long-term health consequences. 11. Geisha Culture in Feudal Japan Geishas were highly skilled entertainers in traditional Japanese culture. They excelled in various arts, including music, dance, and conversation. The process of becoming a geisha, known as mizuage, involved a young girl's debut into the world of geisha through a ceremony where her virginity was symbolically auctioned. 12. Victorian Language of Flowers In Victorian England, flowers were used to convey coded messages and emotions. Different blooms and arrangements held specific meanings, allowing individuals to express sentiments discreetly. Sending a bouquet could carry declarations of love, friendship, or even rejection, all without spoken words. 13. Spartan Ago Training In ancient Sparta, young boys underwent rigorous military training as part of the Agoji system. Starting at the age of seven, they left their families to live in barracks and learn the art of warfare, discipline, and endurance. This Spartan upbringing aimed to produce formidable warriors. 14 witch hunts in early modern Europe. Between the 15th and 18th centuries, witch hunts swept across Europe. Suspected witches, often women, were subjected to trials, torture, and execution based on accusations of practicing dark magic. Thousands of innocent lives were lost during this dark period of history. 15. Egyptian mummification. Ancient Egyptians practiced mummification as a way to preserve the bodies of the deceased for the afterlife. The process involved removing internal organs, drying the body, and wrapping it in linen bandages. Intricate rituals and prayers accompanied mummification, ensuring the deceased's safe journey to the next world. 16. Victorian Post-Mortem Photography Post-mortem photography was common in the Victorian era. When a loved one passed away, families would take photographs of the deceased, often posing them in lifelike positions. These images served as cherished mementos and a way to remember the departed. 17 Medieval Jousting Tournaments Jousting was a popular sport in medieval Europe, often featured in tournaments and festivities. Knights on horseback would charge at each other with lances, aiming to unseat their opponent. These events were both a test of skill and a source of entertainment for the nobility and commoners alike. 18 Ancient Greek Gymnasia In ancient Greece, the gymnasium was more than a place for physical exercise. It was a hub for social and intellectual activities. Young men engaged in physical training, philosophical discussions, and even wrestling in the nude. The gymnasium was a crucial part of Greek education. 19 Victorian post-mortem hair jewelry. In addition to post-mortem photography, Victorian era mourners would create jewelry from the hair of the deceased. Intricate designs, such as hair wreaths and lockets, were fashioned as keepsakes to remember loved ones who had passed away. 20 Japanese Samurai Seppuku Seppuku, or Harakiri, was a form of ritual suicide practiced by Japanese Samurai. It was seen as an honorable way to restore one's honor after disgrace or failure. The act involved self-disembowelment with a short sword, followed by a trusted companion delivering a swift beheading. In delving into these historical practices, we've uncovered a fascinating tapestry of human customs. From mummification in ancient Egypt to Victorian flower codes, these rituals offer unique insights into our past. These practices, though strange by today's standards, reflect our ancestors' creativity and resilience. They remind us of the ever-evolving nature of human civilization. As we reflect on these customs, let's appreciate the richness of our collective history. For more intriguing explorations like share and subscribe. Thank you for joining us on this journey through time.